guys. So as you can kind of see from the title, um, I'm kind of doing a day in the life of a travel agent and kind of like my work from home routine. Um, so I have been working full time from home for almost five years now. I've been doing this a while, so I kind of have my routine down pat and like what I do. So I did go to school to be a travel agent. I am certified accredited travel agent, which is really important to keep in mind because there are um, a lot of travel agents who are not accredited or certified, nor did they do any schooling. So um, I have been accredited um, for almost five years now. I do own my own agency, so my business and everything is owned and done by me. I am the front line of my business. I do all my own marketing and um, I do have my husband who is also an agent that I have brought on under me um, and he does help me during my busy times when I have things going on that um, he just I need some research and stuff done so um, that's been really nice to have him. Otherwise um, I am the agent and I am the front line and this is my own business so it's been a lot of fun building my business and my brand and, um, and working with clients year after year and getting new clients every single year. So so I'm just going to kind of show you my day. Most of my day is sitting right here in this chair and working on the computer. So nothing too extravagant. I do have set hours for my business. I work from 9 to 4. So I'm always in my office working. I'm responding to emails, calling clients, or taking calls from 9 to 4. That is my set hours for my agency Monday through Friday. However, as an agent, we are on call 24-7. So um, if we have clients traveling or in destinations and stuff, um, we are there and or I do have have a group of backup travel agents that we work with. So if I'm traveling and I can't help my client, they always will have a backup agent available for them. So yeah, so um, let's get started. So this is my office. This is where I work from nine to four all day long. And yes, that's my cat Ozzy. He lays next to me and works right by my side all day long. <laughs> Of course, every day my morning begins with my morning mocha. Work doesn't begin until I have coffee in hand. My morning routine usually begins with going through my emails, replying back to clients, uh, going through my daily to-do list, and checking off tasks I may have to do that morning. I always feel the most productive in the morning, so I like to burn out all the big stuff right away in the morning. A lot of what I do is doing research for clients, for vacation packages, and matching them with the best vacation package for their needs. Um, so preparing quotes, sending final payment reminders. So I like to get most of those items wrapped up right away in the morning. Um, and then for the rest of the day, I can continue responding to clients as questions come in. And of course, I also spend a lot of time on the phone um, as an agent, you know, talking to my clients, getting information from them, and also talking to vendors. On this call, I was actually canceling a honeymoon, so it was really sad. So I was walking my client through the best steps for her on how to move forward with her cancellation, and now we can get it rebooked for her future honeymoon that will take place next year. The pandemic, of course, has caused a lot of cancellations taking place. So many of my honeymooners, Alaska travelers, European travelers, all my clients, for pretty much through the summer have all now had to cancel. So it's been a lot of work right now just trying to get through cancellation policies and getting clients rebooked and, and working through all the insurance companies as well. I, sometimes I have a lot of different client meetings I have to take care of too. So I'm on the phone, you know, meeting with clients, talking to them. I have different vendor meetings and or I need to call into tour robberies and talk to them because maybe we need to do some changes to itineraries, flights changes, schedule changes. Right now there's a lot of the resorts that have been closed so we're trying to get those switched around. Things are always changing in the travel industry. Um, it's like non-stop so um, just keeping up on that is a job in itself. And then of course the fun part of my job is when I'm actually booking my clients. So giving my clients a call to finalize their bookings is always so much fun to get to talk to them. I'm gonna go over the itinerary and finalize all the details with them and get them all booked. And then they can start their countdown to their next vacation. So that's always the exciting part of our job, of course. So typically around 11 o'clock, I go exercise and stretch. 
Um, so this is really important for me because I do sit so much during the day that I just feel so much better when I'm able to get active and get my body moving. And this doesn't happen every single day because if I'm like swamped with work, um, there is times where I've had to miss my workout because I have to work. However, I try my hardest to make time for myself so I can get my body moving and get some exercise in for the day. Typically my workouts are about 20 to 30 minutes long. My workouts are typically a mix of hit and I do a lot of weight training as well and of course Ozzy always has to come and see what I'm up to when I'm working out <laughs> and this time also gives me some time to just kind of relax take a mental break and just kind of refocus it just feels so amazing to be able to stretch for a little bit um, because I sit so much during the day um, stretching is very helpful So about 11.30 noonish is when I have my breakfast. So yeah, I don't eat any breakfast right when I get up. I just kind of fast, except for my mocha, of course. So I don't know if you can technically call it fasting. However, I just feel better when I don't eat right away in the morning. I feel like I can focus more on my work. So that's why I usually eat later. And my husband works from home with me. So I'm lucky he makes breakfast every morning unless I'm craving a smoothie or something. Then typically I'll make that myself. Um, otherwise we have breakfast every morning together and just check in with each other because we really don't see each other until breakfast because he's working in his office and I have my office. He's working from 8 to 5 so he's always up working before I even get up. So it's nice to just be able to sit down, check in with each other, see how our days are going and just have breakfast together every morning. When I get back to my office after breakfast, typically I work on social media, website updates, or um, anything like that. Of course, responding back to clients if I have emails coming in, as well as different bookkeeping, documenting, updating database, uh, client information. That's typically my afternoon work. It's a little bit lighter load. Of course, owning my own business, I'm in charge of all of my own marketing. So having to create posts for social media and stuff, I have to do all that by myself. Before I was a travel agent, I was actually a graphic designer, so I worked in that industry for a while. So thankfully I have those skills and actually marketing and web design and all those things are really easy to me since I used to do all that. I used to also work in human resources and the assistant to a executive director um, for a corporation. So my background is definitely about all office my entire life. So so having that background has worked very well for me in being a travel agent. So part of being a travel agent, our job is to educate our clients and make sure that they're getting the most bang for the dollars that they spend on their vacation. So travel agents, they're professionals, they have schooling, training, and certification. Um, we are, of course, an accredited certified travel agency. This is not just a hobby for us, this is like our full-time career. Um, and owning our own business, of course, is a lot of work. Part of owning your own business is that we invest a lot of time and money into our business in order to go experience um, different destinations, resorts, whatever it may be, firsthand. We kind of go undercover so that we can go and experience destinations for our clients. Because I can tell you it's not one size fits all for vacation packages. That's not how it works. So for personally within my agency, we have a high quality standard. We only work with four star resorts or higher. Um, so we will never like place a client in anything under a four star resort. We're all about value, getting the best bang for your buck. But at the same time, we also so um, we'll not put someone into something we do not feel comfortable with. It would reflect poorly back on us if we did and we had an unhappy client because of that. So we won't lower our standards because we want our client standards to be met and make them understand and know, you know why we wouldn't do something like that. We spend a lot of time every day keeping up on industry trends. So of course the world of travel, the industry is like, it changes by the day. and. When you go through a pandemic, it changes by the hour. This is just one of those industries that you need to really keep up on. You're working with thousands of different resort chains, tons of different airlines, cruise lines, tour operators, and everyone has their own policies and procedures. And you have to know all that. So um, yeah, there's a lot to know. As an agent, we have our own tour operators that we work with for packages. Um, we aren't booking the Expedias and the Travelocities. 
agencies and that that is not what a travel agency does travel agents work direct with you know airlines resorts um, transfer companies whatever it is we have those direct contacts so yeah we're not a third party booking site that's the whole point of a travel agency is that they offer you those services and they work with the best Typically around two to three o'clock is when I get up and go get a snack, stretch my legs, and just kind of move my body a little bit. Like I mentioned, sitting a lot, it's just I try to get up and stretch and get out of my chair for just a little bit every couple hours, and of course grab a snack. Or sometimes I'll grab myself an ice latte. And then for the rest of my afternoon, I just go through, finalize any quotes, any questions that my clients may have, just kind of catch up on emails. And then of course, go through all my the vendor emails because I swear I receive a hundred of those a day. And just kind of wrap things up and make sure I have everything checked off my to-do list. And just make sure that all my clients have been taken care of for the day. All right, you guys, so now it's 4 p.m., so my day is over for now. Um, so I hope this was interesting to you. Definitely like an office job, as you can see from today. Lots of computer work, lots of sitting, talking with clients, lots of emails back and forth all day long. So this is my work from home routine. I hope you enjoyed it. Now I'm gonna go check on my husband. It's He just still has to work for another hour. I think we're making homemade pizza for dinner tonight. So grab a glass of wine, of course. That's usually a nightly routine. Okay, maybe not always, but quite a bit. <laughs> so yeah, if you have any questions, of course, be sure to leave them down in the comments. I'm happy to answer any questions. And if you like this type of video, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the little bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. So until next time, bye guys, travel on.